Hey guys, welcome to the channel. You're here with me, Adam, not Emily today, as she has absolutely no interest in what we're doing. Um, and today we are gonna do, for the first time ever on the channel, we're gonna open some magic cards. So Theros Beyond Death came out this uh, weekend for pre-release. I'm super stoked, super excited. This is something I wanted to do before um, we kind of took a little bit of time off from the channel, um, opening up cards, talking about them, seeing what the crack is. I've only been playing Magic for a little while. I played Game of Thrones primarily as my primary game, uh, best game there is, um, but FFG are killing it off. So I'm here with you now. So here we are, the main event, what we've all been waiting for, the Pharos Beyond Death, uh, booster box opening and it's my first ever booster box opening so if I go a bit slow I'm sorry about that hopefully you enjoy it hopefully we can have a chat about the cards so I'm gonna just get into this this is actually my first ever booster box I've opened as well um, of any card game uh, I played an LCG before uh, so didn't have booster boxes everyone got the same thing and we all had a very good time so ooh, that fresh pack smell ooh, oosh Twelve. Twelve. Sorry about that. Sorry about that camera. Sorry. And twelve. Right. How are we going to play this? How are we going to play this, Adam? Let's just go. Let's get into it. So uh, we'll look at a couple of the uh, the commons and then we'll kind of just see how we feel. So flicker of fate. I mean, in limited, it's really good. So I primarily play a lot of draft. Um, a little bit of standard but yeah in this particular set with so many enchantments and uh, creatures as well brr, it's really really good as bed to manscore lamp of death vigil edelon gift of strength leonin myers grass riptide turtle flummox cyclops relentless pursuit favored of irias never saw that over the weekend uh, whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control favor of irias gains double strike under end of your turn that is really good um yeah especially with some of the flashes uh whirlwind denial for each spell and ability your opponent controls oh okay entrancing lear this is really good as well it's such a good just like nope card get it out early say nope to pretty much whatever you want and we get the acroon wars so acroon wars is a rare and um, one of the sagas sagas are back for this set uh, gain control of target creature as long as the Acroon Wars remain on the battlefield. Uh, until your next turn, creatures your opponent... Wait a sec, what? That first one's mental. Um, until... <laughs> I thought it was the end of turn. Until it rains on the battlefield. That... Um, until your next turn, creatures your opponent control attack each combat if able. Yeah, um... Okay. Each tap creature deals damage to itself equal to its power. Um, okay. I mean, it's weird, like, it forces you, it forces your opponent to attack you, and then forces your opponent to not attack you, until your next turn, oh yeah, until your next turn, okay, yeah, this is, whoosh, and a beautiful forest, and a beautiful human soldier token, so, I just stick everything, all my bulk over there, and uh, we'll go from here, so what's next? So Theros is, again, it's a new set, and I, you know, I don't really know loads about it. Obviously, I, as I said, I didn't play previous set. And the Deer Cracker, my boy, is back, and we have a Foil Impending Doom. Um, I didn't play any of the previous sets. Eldraine is when I first started the game. So I think it's one of those ones where I'm kind of really excited about seeing some of these cards. I know a lot of people have kind of poo-pooed the, um, the set already, but... I think it's good. It's good fun, especially in uh, limited format. Croxer, Titan of Death Hunger. So this is the big old uh, black red god. Don't really know much about it. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. When Croxer enters the battlefield, sacrifice it unless it escapes. That happens a lot. Oh, I do not know about it. It really annoyed me. For four and five cards, it just gets to do whatever it wants. I'm not happy about that kind of card being in existence, but whatever, bro. Whatever. Um, on top of that, I don't know how that affects the triggered effect. So there's the um, there's a white card from Eldraine, which uh, stops all coming into play effects from happening. 
so I don't know how that stacks there. Um, someone let me know, let me know. And uh, we're going through here, so then we have Taranika, I've already seen him hanging around, such a good dude, such a good dude, just gonna put, pop some of these over here. The tokens are well good in this set as well. Look at this zombie dude, I am a king zombie. I do what I want. Pretty darn good. Um, yeah, some of the stuff in this, the gods in this are pretty cool. Um, you know, and then I'm really looking forward to just seeing how it plays out. As I say, I play a lot of limited. So kind of going from there, Renata, Call to the Hunt, is really good. And, you know, comboing with her boy, Siona, there. Here is the Revel and Hactos as the rare. Again, I don't think Hactos is particularly great. Ooh, shiny land. I, I do really like these lands as well. I think a lot of people have kind of been on the fence about it. Some love it, some don't. I am uh, I'm very much supportive of those lands. A uh, little Pokemon energy. And what's wrong with Pokemon energy, eh? So, next pack, next pack. Um, but yeah, I primarily play green black when I do get a chance to play standard. Um, and yeah, I mean, anything that comes up, good card. Um, Enigmatic Incarnation. Ooh, bulk rare. Um, yeah, so we primarily play Northampton Mana Screw. Um, excellent shop in Northampton. That's where we picked up this box from. That's where we played our pre-releases this weekend. Mark is a great guy. Um, I thoroughly recommend trying to come down for some of his events. Um, put some links in the bottom. Um, oh, the nice Calafi and a Kiora. Uh, that's a nice Calafi. I really like some of those, um, some of the enchantment gods with their, with their thing. Um, I'm not going to collect them. I went really hard on collecting the um, the old art, the old drain cards, the storyboard ones, because they really spoke to me. Um, and getting a master set as well, trying to do that was a, was a pain. Never never did pull an Oko, and now he's dead. Uh, but yeah, I feel the ruin. Triumph of Anax. Hydra's Growth, that's a bonkers card in limited format. And Bronze Hide Lion, really good card as well. I think that's going to see a lot of play in all formats. Uh, and the Nightmare Token, Ashiok's Nightmare, man. Not about that life. Absolutely not about that life. But yeah, the Bronze Hide Lion, I think, has so many upsides to it. Um, I think it's definitely going to see a fair bit of play in Standardo. So, what's next? Rise of Glory. Elspeth's Nightmare is pretty cool. Another Nalia's Intervention. Ooh, and a Foil Renata. Call cool to the Hunt. I do like Renata. I think... Um, I think I want to like completely do like some one one token decks, but I don't think they're going to be very good. Um, I played a played a little bit of cards that uh, revolved around um, putting in tokens into play, and it just didn't really work out that well. Uh, before um, we'll see, we'll see. Sweet Oblivion, Nyx Herald, Anax, the old Anax, and big old Kunaros, Hound of Athreos. That's a cool card, man. I think that's a card which is going to get a lot of love, a lot, a lot of love. Uh, Vigilance Menace Lifelink 3. Um, I, I guess we hate a lot of people hated on um, the uh, the Questing Beast when it came out in Eldraine, but this is like a nicer Questing Beast. Um, but yeah, I think those bottom set, those bottom bottom words, creature cards and graveyard can't enter the battlefield, players can't pass spells from their graveyard. Is nuts. Kind of celebrant destiny spinner under costed reverent hoplite and shatter the sky um yeah i mean that is an under costed card that spinner dude um about third way through the box now yeah that card two mana for something that's basically saying you can't count with my my creatures is 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 really good especially in a ramp deck where you're like i'm just gonna get everything i want out and you're not gonna do anything about hate for Adelon, really cool card Nessia Wanderer, Gary, the Merchant of Asphodel, and the Tectonic Giant. Tectonic Giant is fine. Hang on, I'm not. Ugh. No, it's not fine. I lied. I lied. Gary was the best card in that pack. Play set of Gary's now, I think, which is cool. I, um, I definitely really want to play it. I, I'm basically very much, I was a big fan of the Smitten Swordmaster in, um, in Eldraine. Um, and basically Gary is just kind of a better version of it. Uh, so you can build a lot more, maybe get some get some catting going on as well with it. I think that's that'll be a that'll be something that'll really work really well. Bloody cat oven. Uh yeah, so where we at, where we at, where we at? So one with a star, banishing light, blood aspirant, and galleon. 
Galia, sorry. Galia, I think it's an alright card, but you definitely need to build for it. It's one of those ones where attacking with three creatures to draw a card is all two cards, sorry, is all well and good. Well, basically, a card is a with a remove with the discard effect, but yeah, not so hot. Chain with Barachnic, pretty cool. Farrakha Swarm, uh, Setson Petitioner, and Edelon of Obstruction. This card really annoyed a lot of people in. Um, in the pre-releases this weekend, um, my friend Mikey had to go up against it, uh, played Ashiok, and uh, and then realised had to pay an extra uh, one to use Ashiok's ability and almost lost lost them first term. Yeah, what are you going to do if you don't know how to play the game, Mikey? Uh, Metamized Prophecy, Agonising Remorse, Staggering Insight, and Mantle of the Wolf. Ugh. Ugh. Bulk rares, man. Bulk rares. I'm just looking for um, black greens, really. More, I mean, I'd be, I'd be well into getting some, some more gods, you know. Um, but whatever, I'm just mainly trade. Uh, Renata again, Thassa's intervention. Um, they're mainly just going to trade otherwise, but uh, which is most what these cards are going to do. So if you want to hit me up for some sick trades, you know where I'm at. Uh, but Thassa's intervention is the top X cards of your library. Put up to two of them into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Count the target spell unless it's opponent pays twice. That's just going to end up in blue white. Ugh, damn dirty blue white players. Nick's Herald, Sea God Scorn, Acolyte of Affliction. Yeah, baby, not like a keen ad. In all the native art. Oh, she's there, she's indestructible. It's a good card. Just thought I'd let you know. Thought I would let you know. So that's, um, that's like five or six of the gods in my possession now. Joining me on the god train. Um, I think Nile is like the cheapest god, but I mean, whatever, man, it's a sweet card. It's gonna get played a bit by me. And our dreams, Darius Banbrill, Whirlwind, and Heliod's Intervention. Heliod's Intervention. Good card as well. You know, good card. Basically, you could just pop someone's entire board if they're playing something very specific with Heliod's Intervention. Otherwise, just life gain, you know? Just good life gain. Um, where we at? Where we at? Inevitable End, Hero of the Nyxborn, Setazan Champion, and oh, Foil Cloth is God of Destiny. I feel good. Do, 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 do. I knew that I would now. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm happy to get some mythics. I don't really ever get that many mythics, and I've got quite a lot. Um, in my la in this uh this dude idyllic tutor such a library from charming card reveal it put it into your hand shuffle your library that is not a rare my friends that is not a rare card uh, i mean yeah okay you can do you can i mean it's it's half as good as the uh is it heliod's dude whatever that comes in in a is it uncommon Common, uncommon? It might just be uncommon. It might be common, even. Um, but Heliod the Dude, who basically, for three, gets search for an aura. Like, yes, you can go and get a creature for that, but meh. Meh, you know? Mischievous come out, another bronze hide lion. Oh, and a foil tectonic giant. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, yeah. I mean, some of these cards, like, I mean, bulk rares are, like, the bane of a human's existence, but... Like, we've not got an island yet. Uh, we've not got a land yet, but I know I've jinxed it on this one. I know I've jinxed it. Rise to Glory, Sweet Oblivion, Reverend Hoplite, and Storm's Wrath. Uh, might as well have rather had. I would have rather had one of those uh, temples at that. Um, again, my coloured temples aren't even in this set, so, you know, whatever. Whatever. So, not as. Uh, Lagona Band, Storyteller, Gary. Binding of Titans and Ox of Agonas. Nice. When Ox of Agonas enters the battlefield, discard your hand, draw three cards. Ooh, that is a tight escape, isn't it? And it's in red as well. I mean, I guess you could just play a load of instants. Um, but for two, two is cheap, isn't it? Like, we do need to escape eight, which not many people can afford. Um, but who knows? So we're up to four mythics. Field of Ruin, Escape Velocity, Elspeth Conquers Death. Um, exile target permanent opponent controls with curl inverted mana cost three or greater. Sure. Uh, non creature spells your opponent. Two more. 
Return target creature or planeswalker card from your graveyard to the battlefield, put a 1 1 or a loyalty counter on it. Cannot complain and Laguna ban storyteller there. That is well, that's quite nice. That's quite nice. So, I, mean, I don't think the enchantments are going to set much on fire, but uh, not the enchantments, the sagas. But you know, I mean, I, I can get behind it. I can get behind the sagas. Heliod's Punishment, Wolf Willow Haven, Dreamstalker Manticore, and Aphemia, the Cacophony. Ooh, hello. I believe your own step, you may exile an enchantment card from your graveyard if you do create a 2 2 black zombie creature token. That's really good. That's really good. I like that. It's cheap as well. Cheap, flying, with a good effect. Enchantment card from your graveyard. Cool. Cool. I mean, I don't know what enchantments I'm going to exile, but whatever. Mirror Shield, Dream Shaper Shaman, Archon of the Fallen Stars. Sh -sh 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 it's basically like a baby Embercleave, isn't it? Baby Embercleave that can go with everything. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, especially if you um need to get rid of a god. <sighs> Removing Hexproof and Indestructible ain't bad. Cling to Dust, Mischievous Chimera, The Binding of a Titan, Labyrinth of Scophos. That average lands and careless celebrant. You know, I mean, Labyrinth of Scophos, like, I need a very particular deck to play that, I feel. Because um, the. <sighs> four mana is a lot. Like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Tell me otherwise. You're a trooper. Cloth is designed. Outside of life's bounty. The first I own games. Create a 1 1 white human soldier creature token. Put three 1 1 counters on target creature you control. You can see that. I don't know if you're going to see anything in this with my terrible lighting. Um, if you control a creature with power 4 or greater, draw two cards. Create a gold token. Not the worst. Not the best. But for free. Ain't gonna complain if you uh, can draw two cards consistently, are you? Um, right, what we got there? Oh, yeah. Lagona Band Storyteller, Maya Triton, Shimmerwind Chimera, Ashiox Erasure. That's a pretty cool card. And this is a meme to end all memes. Ictimorphosis. Turn you into a fish. Turn you into a fish. Turn you into a foil fish. Turn you into a fish. Ashiox Erasure is pretty cool, you know. Not even, not even letting your opponent cast another version of that spell is, I think, really good. Um, don't know about you. I'm feeling 22. Minion Return, Glimpse of Freedom, Slaughter Priest of Mogos, Dalakos, Crafter of Worlds, add two. Spend this mana only to cast artifact spells or activate abilities of artifact. Equip creatures you control have flying and haste. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. It's in red as well, so you can... Believe in the cleave if you need to. Um, yeah, I like it. I like it. It's a pretty cool card. Not seen it before. So I guess it doesn't really go in this set. Uh, anyway, Hero of the Wind, Shoal Kraken, Scophos Maze Warden, and finally a temple. Finally a temple and a citizen petitioner. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I can't complain. Temple of Plenty. I think it is always going to show up at some point. Let's just hope it's not the end of this box. Is all the temples. So, where we at? Where we at? Impending Doom. Mystic Repeal. Daxos Blessed by the Sun. And Thrix the Sudden Storm. Yeah. I'm just really hoping not to get a couple of more temples. Uh, I don't need them. I don't want them. I could do with Uro or Heliod. Or Ashiok. Or any other cards that I can trade for other cards. Um, not garbage. Dara, drag to the underworld. Clothos, god of destiny. Old odd. Old odd, old odd, old odd. Is that all three Clothoses? I guess I haven't got a foil version of the old, but yeah, I can get on board with that. Give me some sweet, sweet Clothos because the dude is annoying. Three mana as well. Three mana. I know he's one of those ones you need seven to turn him on, but you can still use his ability, and that is good enough for me. 
uh, Furious Rise, Enemy of the Enlightened, Enchantment Lear, and another Temple. Ugh, as we get to the end. Temple of Malice. Oh, and a Foil Island. Right? No? No? Oh, yeah, no, no, I messed this up. I put Temple with the normal lands. I bought it with the normal lands because I don't care about you, Temple of Malice. The two more packs to go. I think it's been alright. I think we've got like five five mythics. Pretty happy with that five or six mythics. Um yeah, can't really complain. Too much. Thundering Chariot, Phalanx Tactics, Timoret, and Yes! Oh, it makes me feel so good. Uro, Titan of Nature's Wrath. When Uro enters the battlefield, sacrifice it unless it escapes. Whenever Uro enters the battlefield, or attacks you gain free life and draw a card, then you may put a lock up from your hand onto the battlefield. He is a jerk, and he wins games. Do you like my song? Thank you. I uh, I do try really hard. That is a great way to pretty much end this last pack. Let's see what we get. Uh, anything, anything at all makes us happy. Uh, so Stinging Lionfish, The Buff of Melitus, Fairness, Singer, and Atris, Oracle of Half-Truths, not seen you before. Menace, Atri when Atris, Oracle of Half-Truths, enters the battlefield, target opponent looks at the top three cards of your library. I uh, have seen this, separates them into a pile, uh, into a face-down pile and face-up pile, put one into your hand and the others into your graveyard. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So that is the box there. That was our first ever box opening, and it's pretty good. Let's see where the main... Players, Uro comes in, Clothis comes in, uh, lots and lots of rares there, Shadow Spear, always good, Ox of Agony, forgot about that guy, uh, lots of lots, oh, the other Clothis, big old Clothis, oh, there was Nylea as well, I cannot complain about you there, Nylea, um, coming in Kiora as well, and I think that, oh, no, 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 there was also Croxa, a titan of death hunger. That was a really good box opening. Seven mythics. Um, god, 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 god. Ox, saga, god. Thanks for watching, guys. It means a lot for you to check by the channel. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed what I've done here. This is my first box opening. Hopefully, you want to stick around and watch some more with me in the future. Uh, going to get some of the old bundos. Going to get some more boxes. And uh, see where we go from there. But thanks for watching, guys. See you later.